Hello all, welcome to Rotanews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about expense report approval process in Oracle Fusion. So this agenda. The first thing is make sure that you enable the approval for the expense report. And once that is done, and uh, the next thing what we would like to do is how do we configure the expense report approval? So the process name is Fin EXM Workflow Expense Approval. So in this one here, if you observe, I just added a custom participant XXORA approval and where it is based on approval group, XXORA approval group. I just added one custom participant and disabled the remaining one. And the process name is FIN EXM workflow expense approval. So now what we do is we'll just see how do we create an expense report. So just click on navigate to your instance, click on me, and then you should be able to see expense application, click on that click on a create a report so expense report can have multiple lines in it so expense report it's kind of an header items are the list of lines in the expense report so once you click on expense report here you can see the purpose you just need to mention the purpose and it gener generally generates a auto generated expense report number and i just added a line and then once it is done you can just simply click on save and submit so once expense report is submitted it may be assigned to a manager for approval or maybe based on the requirement how you have configured, it may be assigned to the users, right? So how do we validate the approval process? Nothing but like to whom it is submitted, to whom it is pending with all those things, you can validate from a couple of places. The first one is you can click on tools, transaction console, and you can search with your expense report number and click on the link. You should be able to see what is the status of your expense report to whom it is assigned with, when it was assigned and all those things you can find out from the transaction console and other information is from the workless tables from the workflow tables also you should be able to find out the status of your expense report to whom it's submitted and who are the remaining participants whether they are assigned whether rejected or whether are they requesting for some more information you can find out the information from the bolded in tables like a workflow task history and the remaining EXM tables are the expense related expense report related tables. You can find out the information about your expense report from these tables. And the final status also you can uh, that we, we shall get updated in the expense report tables also. And now, so using other option is like within the from the expense report itself, you can just navigate to the expense report and click on status here you can see the status once you click on the status here it shows pending manager approval right once you click on that it shows the hierarchy nothing but the list of approval list and based on that you can understand to whom it is pending with when it was assigned all those things also you can find out so there are three places we can find out tools transaction console from the database and from the ui nothing but from the expense report the place where you have submitted so now we'll just try to see all the information in the practical way from the instance so the first thing what we do is we'll just simply create an expense report so i'll just go to me click on expenses and i am with a user anita.kennedy and here make sure that you already have the configuration enabled for your expense report and now i'll just create a new expense report i will say I'll just raise expense report for the meals. Click on create item. And here we have to select the item here. Here I'll say, if at all, if you don't have meals, you can select lunch. Let's say, I'll say 100 USD and click on save and close. And yeah. And make sure that you have select this one then only it will show submit now i'll submit this one yes so the expense report number is ending with 9235 so now what i'll do is yeah let's wait it yeah so 9235 this is a one so it takes a couple of seconds to get assigned to a approval right so we can just navigate to tools let us say tools and transaction console and here you can just uncheck the failed one and here, as of now, it is still in progress. It is not yet assigned any user. It will just take a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's still taking. And maybe we can also validate from the back end. Let's say I have designed the BIP report for that. Yeah, I'm just reloading it. 
click on data view identification case nothing but the expense report id yeah so here this is our expense report number and this is our expense report id we just pass the expense report id to this query and if at all if you get any user information yes so now it says this is assigned there are two participants to whom it is assigned one is amit gupta other one is kasi brown and you can see the see the participant name also to whom it was assigned now if you try to see the information from the ui you should be able to provide that information yep so now we can just click on the expense report number and you should be able to see the two participants like a kasi brown as well as amit gupta and similar information you should be able to find out from your expense report also let's say i'll click on my expense report now and click on the status where it is pending manager approval click on this now it should be able to show the hierarchy of list of approval stuff so it clearly tells you the participant name i mean the assign the user which was assigned and also the role the participant name at which it triggered so now we'll try to see the vpm process so as of now we have done the submission of it and we have seen the status of it and also the workflow history table i can explain here the workflow history table is this one so why infra workflow history and you can make sure that you either mention the process name or maybe task definition name and then pass the identification key the identification key is nothing but the expense report id which you'll get from the exam table now how do we navigate to this one you can just navigate to this particular url and here you search for the expense report right and in our uh, slides also we mentioned the process of configuration so this is the one in workflow exam expense approval you may get lot number of things yeah so this is the one and here you have to click on the edit icon then it should be it will get open in the edit mode and here i in this particular things these are the standard participants which i have disabled i just added a custom participant here and here i have assigned to an approval group so how do you add it just click on this one it shows a pencil icon click on this one it shows add participant you can go with a sequential or parallel mode and if at all if you want to have only notification you can use fii if at all if you want to have a single approval just go with single if at all if you want a serial based approval go with serial if you want to have a parallel based approval you have to go with parallel so these are the four options you generally come across and this is adding a process of adding a sequential node if you want to have parallel node you can just click on parallel and so this is how it shows a parallel right now like this one and this one is a parallel and sequential means once one by one like this so this is how we can configure the approval process in the expense report in oracle fusion thank you